Hello, Pokemon fans! I'm Professor K for the Pokemon Evolutionaries, and today we have three brand new Pokemon TCG products for you guys. These are the three new tins that have come out. We've got the Marshadow GX, Necrozma GX, and the Ho-Oh GX tin. And these are called, I believe, the Mysterious Power tins or something like that? Yeah, Mysterious Powers tin. I did have it right. Cool, I should have looked at it before I started the video, but I didn't. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we got the tins that have the promo GXs of Marshadow Necrozma and Ho-Oh GX. Got them a little bit early, so that's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully we get some awesome polls here today. Uh, before I continue the video, I just want to say I really appreciate everyone who came up to me on uh, this weekend in Connecticut. Uh, this video is actually being filmed uh, on Monday, literally just before this video went up. Um, I will have my uh, recap video up for you guys in, I want to say, probably maybe tomorrow, something like that. I'm going to work on that tonight and hopefully get that up for you tomorrow. But I do want to thank everybody who came out to see us. It was really, really awesome. Well, I should say me and didn't go. But it was really awesome to see you guys and hang out, and we had a great time. So, just want to thank you guys for all the support and helping us get there. And for everybody who came up to us and said hi, um, asked for a picture, autograph, just to talk, any, no matter what it was, it was really appreciated, and it was a great time, and uh, we just uh, really, really want to thank you for that. All right, we're going to start things off here with the Marshadow GX10. Let's take a look at this artwork. Pretty cool looking. Uh, this is Sun and Moon promo number 59. It is a straight... Uh, reprint of the one from Burning Shadows. All of these are, as a matter of fact, so there's nothing new about them except for a different artwork and a Sun and Moon promo as well. There's the uh, code card sitting right on top, which is actually a little unusual. Uh, I thought they were usually underneath the card. That's different. Oh, come on! Why? <laughs> why you gotta do it to this? Why you gotta do this to us, Pokemon? Evolutions, Guardians Rising, and two Burning Shadows. Why evolutions though? Ugh, oh, I'm sorry guys. Let's just get this one out of the way and, and, and just, you know, deal with it, I guess. I don't know. Ah, oh, I'm so tired of evolutions. Alright, we got a Ponyta, Drowsy, Electabuzz, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Energy Retrieval, Blastoise Spirit Link, Switch, Reverse Hollow Porygon, and a Starmie. At least it was a good pack because I can make use out of two of these cards. Not bad. Alright, I, I, don't, I don't have as much bad to say as I usually do about evolutions <laughs> because of that. So, Starmie's a good card. Alright, let's try Guardians Rising next. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, there's a backwards card. Look at that! What? I've never seen that happen before. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we got a Wimpod, a Gumi, Wishy Washy. This is that... Oh. Oh! What? We got two? We got two? <laughs> Shout out to Yellow Swallow, by the way. Uh, one, two, three. That's the fourth card. This is the fifth card. Sixth card. Seventh card. Eighth card. Nine. Ten. There, there's the right number of cards. Just two Vanillites in a row. That's super weird. Uh, reverse Hall of Field Blower. That's pretty cool. And a Full Art Toxapex GX as well. So that was just a very weird pack. I can't say I've ever seen two of the same rarity card unless one's reverse so that's different anyway that's pretty cool so we got one full art already not bad at all we got two more packs to go before we get into the next 10 uh where did my burning shadows packs go right in front of me marshadow is the next pack Let's see if we can pull some more awesome stuff out of this tin tins are usually pretty good to us so i hope to keep that trend going all right for this pack we've got a riolu a lolan grimer Lediba, Cutie Fly, Horsey, Weakness Policy, Potown, Ribombi, Whirlipede is the reverse, and a Hollow Zygarde as well. So that's pretty cool. We got two out of two, or two out of three, I should say. Uh, hollows or better. Going into the last pack of Burning Shadows for this tin. One, two, three, one, and two. We've got a Togedemaru, Dupider, Cutie Fly, Riolu. Alolan Grimer, Super Scoop Up, Seviper, Rotom Dex, Pokey Finder Mode, Reverse Hollow Caterpie, and a Shinotic. So, very strange <laughs> overall uh, for that first 10 having two Vanillites and a Full Art in the same pack. That was, uh, that was interesting. That spices things up just a little bit for me anyways. Let's go on to the Necrozma tin next. So here is the Necrozma promo. Obviously again, 
card for card reprint, different artwork, and Sun and Moon number 58. Looks pretty nice. I'm gonna set that off to the side over here. Comes right out of it. It was actually bowed in a little bit, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess it all depends if it likes to flatten out or not. Same four packs, I assume. We're starting off the same way. Let's get this out the way so we don't have to deal with it anymore. All right. One, two, three. Uh, two, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Well, then. I guess I'm going to regret saying that. We've got a Rattata, Caterpie, Magnemite, Voltorb, Sandshrew, Coughing, Misty's Determination, Revive. Reverse Hollow is a Fire Energy, which is pretty solid. And I'm going to eat my words because there is a full art in here. It is a Pidgeot EX, granted. Uh, it doesn't have any playability factor and is only about two bucks, but it's still a full art and it's still a reverse hollow energy. So, all right, all right, evolutions, checkmate. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you were like, what? No, ain't having that. We're going to give you something cool. Three, one, and two. So, for Burning Shadows, we got a Noibat, Dupider, Tangela, Rhyhorn, Riolu, Escape Rope, Sophocles, Ribombi, reverse hollow, ew. And a Lucario Hollow. So that's two, two, what? Two tins. We got a Hollow and a Full Art so far. What is happening? That's super weird. Let's try the other pack of Burning Shadows. We're going to leave Guardians Rising for last this time. Can this tin beat the other one? Let's find out. Three, one, and two. Wow, look at the edge whiting on the top of that card. That card is completely destroyed. We got a Porygon, Meryl, Hoot Hoot. Rhyhorn, Ralts, Seedra, Charmeleon, Whirlipede, Alolan Vulpix is the reverse, and that's the one that's messed up, and a Passimian non-hollow rare, so thankfully that wasn't a good pack, thanks to that uh, weird edge whiting thing going on there. Quality control at its finest. All right, final pack. Three, one, and two for Guardians Rising. We've got a Wishy Washy, Vanillites, three Vanillites out of two packs. Super weird. Clefairy, Rock Rolf, Barboach, Alolan Graveler, Altar of the Sun, Altar of the Moon, Reverse Tentacle, and a Sharpedo. So, so far, these are pretty uh, pretty consistent tins. Two hollows, two full arts. Let's see if Ho-Oh does the same. Ho-Oh is actually my favorite artwork out of the three of these uh, new tins. Which, by the way, I just realized, I didn't read the back of the tin. Oh, man. Well, if you're still watching, the myth, the legend, the mystery of Pokemon GX. Power walks down many roads, and none is more mysterious than the power of Pokemon GX. Choose Ho-Oh GX, Necrozma GX, or Marshadow GX in the Pokemon trading card game, Mysterious Powers Tin. Each of these beautiful tins contains all of the astonishing power of a legendary or mythical Pokemon GX, ready to change everything with the turn of a card. There. I did it this time. I, I almost didn't. I don't know why I almost didn't. There's the Ho-Oh GX, best artwork, I think, of the three. Sun and Moon promo number 57, straight reprint from Burning Shadows. Set that off to the side. And finish off our final four packs here. Stack that one over there, give us some room. Uh, again, I've got to get evolutions out of the way. Just in case it's disappointing. Oh, well, what do you know? <laughs> There's a green code card. So we're going to do one of these instead, because it's evolutions. And we got another Starmie! Hey, all right, and a reverse hollow rare. So all in all, Evolutions was as least disappointing as possible because Starmie is probably the most playable card in the set. So, all right, I can't be too mad. Let's go to Burning Shadows. Uh, we're gonna open up the Ho-Oh pack next and we will leave the Tapu Fini pack for the last one of those. Three, one, and two. All right, we've got Alolan Vulpix, Meowth, Riolu, Lediba, and this card that jumped out of here was Alolan Grimer, Super Scoop Up, Electabuzz, Sophocles, Venipede Reverse, and a Palisand Hollow. So, three tins, three hollows. We gotta get another full art. That's the question. Can we really keep it going? Tapu Fini up next. We're gonna leave Guardians Rising for the last pack because it is the chicken pack. Three, one, and two. We've got a Ralts, Alolan Vulpix, Hoodoot, Lediba, Mudbray, Ew, Noctowl, Electabuzz, Reverse Hollow Gloom, and a Gardevoir GX! It's not a full art, but it's the most valuable card we have pulled so far, and the most playable by far. Very nice, very nice. 
And to close things off, we've got the Tapu Chicken. Is the chicken with me? Hmm. He wasn't with him this weekend, if you guys watched the video. Is the chicken with me? Probably not. But we'll find out. Because we already got a hollow and an ultra rare. Another Vanillite! We got four Vanillites. Oh, geez, out of three packs of uh, Guardians Rising. Murkrow, Salandit, Nosepass, Talo, Energy Lotto, Machoke, Glalie, Reverse Hollow Max Potion, and a Garbodor Trash Alanche, non hollow rare. Well, all in all, I would have to say these tins were pretty solid. I have nothing bad to say, really. We got two full arts, a, an ultra rare, and three hollows, and this by far was our best pull. This pays for one of the tins alone by itself, pretty much. We're pretty close to it anyway. So anyways, guys, that is your Mysterious Powers tin opening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more TCG content. And like I said, be sure to watch out for the recap video where you guys can find out how I did at Hartford Regionals playing Galissapod. Not Galissapod Garb, straight Galissapod. And you guys can uh, hear how that went for us. Again, like I said, big shout out to all you guys who came out to Hartford and came up and said hi and, and talked and traded and generally just had a really good time with you guys. So we really, really want to appreciate, really want to say we appreciate you guys for that. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys in Daytona literally this weekend. Back-to-back <laughs> -to -back regional weekends for us. So we will be at Daytona Beach for that regional championship as well for Expanded. We hope to see you guys there just as much, if not more, of you. And N will be at this one. So for all of you N fans out there, you guys can finally see him again as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, we'll see you guys tomorrow for that recap video. Thanks for watching. You all take care. Have a great day. For the best prices and service on Pokemon TCG singles and products, check out CCGCastle.com and use promo code EVOLUTIONARIES-5 for 5% off your next order.